you remember the time I used to make videos about the most played albums, most played bands of the month, of the year? Well, it's time to give you another video of the most played bands and, and albums of the year so far in 2021. This is my personal list. These stats are all from Last FM. I have been on Last FM for fucking two years now and I have gathered a huge musical status on Last FM and Last FM knows what I love. Last FM knows what albums I play the most and Last FM just knows my musical taste because they recommend me some great bands and I thought it was time to give you my top 20 bands and albums of 2021 so far. Now, the albums can be in any period. It doesn't have to be 2021. It could be the fucking 70s, it could be the fucking 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s or 2020s. Don't know, but it's going to be very interesting of what I played the most. So let's get on with it. So coming at number 20 is, whoa, surprise, surprise, it's Dirt by Alice in Chains. This is a great album. Love songs like Them Bones. It's one of my favorite albums. Alice in Chains albums, and I just really do enjoy it. Coming at number 19 is Within Temptation, The Unforgiving. With 68 plays, I just really do enjoy this album. It is one of their weakest albums, but I played Within Temptation, The Unforgiving in the taxi. Customers seem to really enjoy Within Temptation. Coming at number 18 is, well, I'm not surprised here, Soothsayer, Echoes of the Earth at 69 plays. Great album overall, really do enjoy it. It's very sludgy, it's very doomy. It's very hard to narrow which genre they are. Coming at number 17 with 70 plays is Tortured Hole by Sanguis Ziggobog. One of my most played brutal death metal albums of the year. This was released in 2021. I really do enjoy the production. I also love the songs, how they are so damn melodic, but yet brutal. Coming at number 16 is, oh, is Halloween and the South Title album with 70 fucking plays. Holy shit. I'm very surprised, really loving the new Halloween album. I have not even mentioned Halloween on the channel, uh, on the new channel, but I'm loving the album. Yeah, how they unite and they create a great album like Halloween. You've got songs like Robot King, so damn Good, and I just saved my heart. Okay, so coming at number 15 with 71 plays is Hammer King and the self titled album. I play this album a lot. Just really enjoyable album. Love the heavy metal elements, just so damn good. Coming at number 14 is The Lion's Daughter Skin Show. This is a great album, really is. It's really heavy synth driven. It's sort of industrial, at times elements of black metal, metal core, you name it. The Lion's Daughter has it all. Coming at number 13 with 78 plays, it's Blaze Bailey, War Within Me. Great album overall. Love Blaze Bailey's vocals on this. I really do enjoy just how fun this album is. And War Within Me is a fucking banger. Coming at number 12 with 80 plays, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, part one and part two by Virgin Still. And I just love the songs on it. Just great heavy metal. Definitely check out The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. Coming at number 11 is Soen Imperial with 80 plays. I love this album. Just great songs. Froggy, love his vocals. And no wonder it's pretty high. This was also released in 2021. Coming at number 10 is Future Bites by Stephen Wilson with 87 plays. This album's fantastic, it really is. Love the song Personal Shopper. I just love how experimental this album is. This isn't metal, this is a pop album, but holy shit, just great fucking songs. Coming at number nine is Iron Maiden, Peace of Mind with 89 plays. What can I say, Peace of Mind wins 89 plays and holy shit, just an absolutely Fucking fantastic album. This is so damn fun. Every time I want to listen to Iron Man, I want to listen to Peace of Mind. I just love how fun that album is. Songs like Where Eagles Dare, Die With Your Boots On, just fucking fantastic. Coming at number eight is In Darkment by Anel Nathrak. 92 plays, released last year, amazing album, very melodic and brutal at the same time, heavy as fuck, love it. Coming at number seven is Final Days by Auden Ogan with 96 plays. I love 
Auden Ogan now, and I think Final Days is just brilliant. Love the power metal elements, love the songs as well. Songs like, you burn it down, cause I'm the inferno. Love it. Coming number six, with 97 plays, it's Cannibal Corpse, Violence Unimagined. This was released back in April this year, and you know what? Just a fantastic album. Cannibal Corpse come back with such a brilliant LP, such as Violence Unimagined, and I can't stop playing it. The game at number five is the Outer Scrolls V Skyrim original game soundtrack by Jeremy Soule with 104 plays. Um, yeah, what can I say? I love, I fucking love this. Jeremy Soul is brilliant with melodies. He really is. Relaxing music he creates, but yet more terrifying atmospheric tracks as well on the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim soundtrack. Running about three hours, I've played this a lot. This is great sleeping music and it's just epic. Coming number four is Where the Gloom Becomes Sound by Tribulation with 105 plays. I love this. This is the album that made me click for Tribulation. Just fantastic overall. Love it. Coming number three is Necrosseros by Asphyx with 106 plays. Necrosseros is such a good fucking album. Asphyx is just an incredible band, an amazing death metal band. Loving the, the doomy elements in Necrosseros. Just amazing songs like Three Years of Famine. Holy shit, that eight minute song is incredible. Coming number two is... Whoa. It's Evanescence, The Bitter Truth at 170 plays. Oh, what? I listened to this album so fucking much when it was released. I think it's just a fantastic album. Like the production may be a little bit off. I was waiting for years for this album to be released and holy shit, I just grabbed it and I listened to it so much. Even gave it a review for it. But yeah, the Bitter Truth Evanescence of the 170 plays, I am not surprised. Coming at number one is Omega by Epica with 173 plays. Honestly, Epica should theoretically be my number one album of the year. 173 plays, love Epica, and I love Omega. This is in fact the album that actually clicked for me with Epica. I was struggling for a few years with Epica, but Omega made me really love this band, and from then I love all their discography. But yeah, Omega is close to a masterpiece by Epica. Alright, so here we go, I'm going to give you my top 20 bands of the year so far, the bands I've listened to. So let's get on with it. Coming at number 20 is Symphony X, which is a great prog band, absolutely adore them, love albums like The Vine Wings of Tragedy and The Odyssey, neoclassical elements. Just a fun fucking band, fun prog metal band. Go check them out if you haven't. Come on, number 19 is Niall. Yes, I've listened to Niall a lot, and I think I still think Iphophallic is their best album. But of course, you've got to make amazing albums like Those Whom the Gods Detest, and Black Seeds Vengeance. Love the brutality, love the technical elements. Niall is a great technical death metal band. Come in number 18 is Within Temptation with 118 plays. Love them, love her vocals, and I love the debut album, I really do. I love how doomy that album is. Come in number 17 is Panopticon. Surprise, surprise. Not a big fan of their latest album, but I do love all their other stuff, apart from that Hillbilly Country album. But yeah, Panopticon are a great band, but yeah, I'm not a really big fan of their latest album just because of the overall production. Most of the albums are great. In case you don't know, Panopticon are black metal. Coming at number 16 is Lord Belial at 120 plays. Recently discovered Lord Belial and I think they're absolutely fucking incredible. Enter the Moonlight Gates is just an absolutely incredible album, one of my favourites. Coming at number 15 is Harry Kitty for the Sky, another fantastic black gaze band. Create beautiful melodies that intertwine between your mind, just brilliant. Coming at number 14 is Marduk with 141 plays. Marduk will be my next album ranking as soon as I can actually gather a ranking because I really don't know what my favorite album is by them. I'm really enjoying Marduk. I just love how intense they are. Coming at number 13 is Incantation at 142 uh, plays. 
incantation. I did a ranking back on my other channel and John McEntee actually shared that on the incantation Facebook page. Just a fantastic band overall. Love how heavy, love how brutal they are, but yet they incorporate some really interesting funeral doom. Game at number 12 is Cannibal Corpse with 160 plays. Not surprised Cannibal Corpse is here. Love Cannibal Corpse, love most of their albums. Cannibal Corpse is a grower of a band for me. I really am enjoying them. Coming at number 11 is Asphyx with 166 plays. Asphyx, one of my favorite death metal bands. Just incredible band overall. Albums like The Rack, Last One on Earth, and even The Crosseros. Brilliant death metal band. Number 10 is Morbid Angel with 172 plays. This is all thanks to my album ranking I did, but after my album ranking, I can't stop listening to Morbid Angel. I think all the albums are absolutely fantastic. Fantastic discography, love all this stuff. Come at number nine with 172 plays equal with Morbid Angel, we got In Flames, a band I have been on and off for for the last two years. Finally got into them this year. Love the mellow death years. Really do enjoy the alternative years as well. And in between, great albums overall. And you got the Jester Race, which is the best melodic death album of all time. But yeah, In Flames, just an incredible band. Come at number eight with 186 plays is Evanescence. This is when I really started to binge Evanescence before the Bitter Truth was actually released. Just a great band overall. Love Amy Lee's vocals. Evanescence is at number eight. Coming at number seven is Auden Ogan. Auden Ogan, yes. Discovered this band this year and I think they are absolutely fantastic. Gunman, it's probably my favorite album by this band. Final Days is up there, be second. But yeah, Auden Ogan, just a great fucking band. Coming at number six is Immolation with 191 plays. It's death metal. It's dissonant death metal. Immolation has become one of my favorite death metal bands. I absolutely love all their stuff. Close to World Below. What an absolutely incredible Black and Death album. Here and After, what an amazing album. Dawn of Possession, just Immolation, just a fantastic band. Coming at number five is Epica with 216 plays. Recently got into Epica, loved Omega, played Omega a shitload and also played the discography. Not surprised that Epica is at number five. Coming at number four is Anal Nathrak. 239 plays. What can I say? Absolutely incredible band and now Nafrak are, ah, that's all. Number three is none other than Dream Theatre at 321 plays. Yeah, Dream Theatre, I played so much this year. I Honestly, it doesn't feel like I played Dream Theatre a lot, but I have. I play Dream Theatre every single fucking day for some reason. I don't know why. Just similar to Anel Nafrak as well. But Dream Theatre at 321 plays. Amazing band. Amazing prog metal band. Coming at number two is... Oh my god. It's Annihilator at 350 plays. Now this was during the stint of my album ranking. I listened to all of their stuff. They do have like 17 fucking albums. So I listened to a shitload. And I also... Yeah, that out that ranking nearly killed me, man. Annihilate a very good thrash metal band. Alice in Hell, what an absolutely incredible album. <laughs> so my number one band of 2021 so far with 498 plays. That means full I have that means I have played 498 songs by this band. We got an Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, <laughs> surprise, surprise, I mean, Iron Maiden, to be honest, Iron Maiden should be my number one band of all time now. I play Iron Maiden all the time, every single day. Iron Maiden is just perfect in my opinion. I absolutely love all their albums. Somewhere in Time, Number the Beast, Peace of Mind. You saw Peace of Mind was in my top 10 albums of the year so far. Just an absolutely incredible band. But Iron Maiden is my number one band of 2021 so far. So next time you see a video based on this will be the most played bands and albums of 2021. The full year. So maybe Iron Maiden will hold the spot at number one. But who knows? We could have Mayor Cognitum start to creep up. What I'm really surprised is how I didn't see my 
favorite fucking album of the year, which is Mayor Cole Needham's Solar Paroxysm. That's it, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Come below your most played uh, bands and albums of the year, and I will see you in the next one.